What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to a video when they have the better stuff. I'm playing my own account, as you see in the top left corner. No, really, it's me. <laughs> and uh, I'm playing very, very, very underpowered, especially against one particular enemy in this battle. It's insane, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think enemy four is the one I'm referring to. Uh, we're gonna see this later. And um, when the only things that save you from certain destruction is your skill. When literally the skill you have is the only thing that keeps you from getting completely outperformed and vaporized by the enemy. Here getting myself one kill and it was a wonder I even got this kill with a Ravana. And now I'm getting killed by enemy four, the one who is getting all the kills, who is currently first. Now, again, I'm playing on my own account with no Ravana, no Phantom, no Ares, no no Aot Shun or, or, uh, or any Blitz robots or any of the meta things. I'm rocking a Strider, a Komiho, and um, yeah, my Vortex Spectre. <laughs> that isn't really meant for playing in free for all that much. Um, but let me tell you, the match is going to be very interesting. I'm not going to give away the end yet. Um, but it's going to be an interesting match depending, uh, it, despite my enemy here, my most powerful enemy, having Mark II 12 full meta, multiple Ravanas, Phantom, Outshun, whatever. It's like complete ultra max meta, like a battle rack account. And, um, yeah, I have to play extremely careful if I want to not die so quickly. For example, I have to really ma make people waste all their rockets, save my shots so I can kill him right when my ammo is there, so I get every possible kill that is available to me, because just missing one kill would immediately mean the end of the of this match for me against such powerful meta players as this guy below me right now. I'm also not going to fight him. I know I don't stand a chance against this 400,000 HP uh, Ravana right there. He's got 50% more firepower than I have because he's got another middle medium weapon. He's coming for me on top of that because he realizes I'm the one who's currently first, uh, for a second anyways. Uh, and on top of that, he's got like three times the amount of hit points I have. He's literally got three times as much HP. So the only way for me to win, possibly, maybe, if there is any chance whatsoever, is to steal the kills that I can steal and then just try and make it as difficult as possible for him. Every time he shoots, I'm dashing once or twice, saving my ammo, dashing again, making his shots miss most of the time. Doesn't work always, but it works a lot of the times. And I'm literally trying to apply all the skills in that I have, that I have learned over the cup last four years in this game, to make a difference, to try and battle against such a powerful player. This Ravana has almost 400,000 health and he can two or three hit kill me when I'm low on HP. Look, my Strider is already down to last stand and, um, and I brought another fresh robot and I barely was able to defeat him. Barely. Even though he was already low on health before, I could barely bring him down with all my dashes, aiming and skills. No chance otherwise, dude. Uh, every time I get low on health, I try to get killed by someone else. I try to not give enemy four the kill. He may be a uh, uh, third right now, but don't be fooled by this. He is going to be the meta bomber here, and there is no question about it. Look what's going to happen here. He's bop, he got this kill. And now I'm trying to fight his other things. Guess what it is? A legendary pilot on the Blitz robot. He basically takes my entire Spectre down to last stand in one salvo of his shredders. Four light weapons, one salvo and my my strongest robot I have <laughs> with 150,000 HP is destroyed. But I'm not going to let it slide. I'm not going to give him this victory so cheap. What I'm doing, I'm coming in back again, activating healing, trying to steal that kill. God! Did you really have to steal this kill, enemy six? <laughs> okay, he's second. He thinks he's still in the game. He is not in the game, by the way. This this guy, he's not in the game. It's really just uh, enemy four that is going to be uh, that is in the game right now. And oh, it hurt that he took the kill away from from him. I could have really used this. And again, it still looks like enemy four is not the winner here. But man. <laughs> I'll show you the hanger later. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way, if you like this video, 
where I have to pull out every little remaining bit of skill that I have. I made him, by the way, if you like these videos, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. By the way, he wanted to get me. I dashed to the left and tried to get into the tunnel. In order to get me, he had to fly further out and that killed him. Look, I made him kill himself to get me as a kill. And now here's my storm nemesis. Oh boy, yeah, okay, that's going to be crazy. Uh, there's a titan, I'm gonna hide myself really qu quickly. Let's see what we, what I can do and if I can get a kill. It's just, for me, in, on my own account, with not, not the battle wreck account, but against that many, that powerful meta stuff, everybody is running meta things. An Aoming, a Blitz, a Blitz, a Ravana, an Ao Chun. Meta everywhere, not just enemy four, everyone has it. If I wanna battle these guys, this is the same Blitz that defeated the heck out of me before then I really have to play incredibly smart and good, but I'm getting attacked by enemy six from behind, unfortunately. And enemy four even got the kill with his shredders. Oh no. Now I'm getting into my Fenrir. It would be a powerful tank if the enemies didn't have stealth flying abilities or 90% resistance or suppression and 90% resistance. It would be strong. But the enemy, the Ao Ming by, bypasses my resistance and all this, and the Fenrir is so slow. It's really difficult to make this thing work these days, and that's why usually I don't even play it anymore. It, it it's a it's a powerful tank in theory, but it doesn't really do that job anymore because literally every meta bot will simply take you out. They have so much firepower and so many powerful abilities. There there is no fighting this anymore. I'm still trying to have a chance here. And thankfully the Ao Ming got taken out by the other Titan. And I'm coming in here. Ah! The, I'm only second now. Enemy 4 is first. I'm trying to come in and try and get that kill together with enemy 4. I'm trying to take down the Ao Ming here. Uh, but unfortunately my Scourges exactly need their reload when he's low on health. Which means who gets the kill? The guy who's already max meta and already plays one. I don't know how to win at this point. I knew the match was going to be over and I didn't really have a chance and again I was using what skills whatever bit of knowledge and skills I have acquired everything I can think of that allows me to become better and stronger than someone else I've tried to apply it all um, coming in here trying to steal that kill and it worked and this one puts me back into the race I actually got this one kill I'm not losing him my lock on look I'm aiming him like an aimbot, not allowing him to walk past me so that I lose my lock on. And I got this too. I'm back in the race because I was allowed to st kill steal this one kill. Phew, okay. And this only worked because they both happened to be there, right? Enemy 4 is back with his Hao Chun. Incredibly difficult for me. And the problem is not only am I fighting this guy, but also have I do I have the other dude there I'm dropping my shield another skill element by the way if you're running a Fenrir one thing you need to have you need to keep your shield up right you cannot lose your shield for no reason and this is why I drop my shield here in this situation so that the shield is not polarized and doesn't block the shots I want his rockets to fly by and be you know go somewhere else trying to get this kill right here and it worked thankfully I am back in the race for sure, but this Ao Chun, and you can tell this guy is a pro player. A noob would now start to fly, and then he would not be able to kill me because his robot flies above the wall or above the ceiling. He is a pro player. He is not just maxed, and I'm again, I'm showing you the hangar later. He's not just maxed. He knows the game. Every single trick. He is an absolute pro player. Props to you, man. I'm showing your name later, too. He walks under the roof first, and then he starts to fly. Because this way... And he activates the death mark, too. This way now, what I basically have here, I have no way of retreating anymore. Um, he's now flying in front of me. I'm trying to convince the Ares to shoot at him. Unfortunately, that didn't work. And, um, yeah, he's walking away. I'm... He, he wants to, he doesn't want to lose his last stand. He knows how important that last stand is and he wants to keep it. I tried to take it away from him and it w didn't work. But maybe at least I can take this. Let's try. Ah, oh, no. Healing, healing, healing and I'm dead. Despite my healing, I couldn't get it done. Ah, oh, it's so 
I'm so on my limit in this match. I'm so on the limit of what's possible and what's not. Oh boy. And enemy 4 got this kill. Of course, he's closer. He's done more damage slightly ahead of him. But man, um, it hurts that I didn't get this Ares. I could have gotten it, but it, everything had to be perfect if I wanted to. So I'm trying to break his last stand here, but he's he knows that the last stand cannot go. He knows that the last stand is his his life insurance. And I, I, I dash so that he can't attack me. He just used death mark. And I made sure he didn't get me with a death mark and he can't actually attack me. I'm reloading my weapons because if I want to have a chance here, I need this kill. No, he got the kill and he's first. The match ends in 16 seconds. And I have no more dashes ready. I have to run through his weapons. I have no other choice. Seven, nine seconds, eight. And I got the kill in the last possible second. Two seconds before he would have gotten another stealth ability. The next stealth ability and I would have been finished. That would have been it. I don't have quantum radar. I would not have stood the slightest chance against this player. He is very good. He is absolutely maxed. And uh, and you see, the only reason I won here was because I, I was playing extremely tricky. Really trying to steal and grab whatever I can to somehow get to high kills. Because he did more damage than I did. And he also had more restoration points in the end. So he could have basically outlived my robots. And here is ha his hangar. Mark 212. Storm Ravana. Igniter Ravana. Mark 212. Legendary pilot on all five robots. Double legendary pilot Ao Ming with Calamity, Glacier, Shredder. Oh my gee, that that's not even I, not even the battle rack account I'm running has this powerful hangar. I'm no normally don't run this, right? I could do this, but I'm never running putting so much power meta in one hangar, usually. I, I try to have a couple of fun bots in there, but my god. Fully maxed weapons on that Arthur, level 70. This Arthur, taking down this Arthur is a nightmare. I'm glad he didn't deploy that thing. But he probably didn't want to because he knows the, the slow Arthur will not give him as many kills as his fast flying Ao Chun or the Blitz, you know. So it was smart on him not to take the Arthur uh, and, and basically miss out on many kills because people can just walk away from you. Uh, so uh, here your, uh, what was his name? I can't read it. It's da Darkite. Props to you, man. You are an absolute pro player in this match. And the only reason I, I won here is because I got a bit lucky. And I was able to play every trick I have in my sleeves uh, with this with this hangar that is mine. Not a single Ravana, Ochun, or Blitz. Not a single Phantom. None of that, right? My gosh. Very, very crazy match. So, um, thanks for this awesome match. And, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I would have also shown the video if I had lost, by the way, uh, because the match was so close and so awesome. And it, it really, it could have gone both ways here. Just one tiny thing that would have gone differently and he would have won no problem. So, uh, yeah, let's go into another match, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, yeah, let's try and apply those same skills to win something here. Okay, I did take a lot of damage, but I'm getting the kill now. And I don't know what this Ravana is doing. He's sitting around the corner and shooting me. And I'm like, you know what? That's it. I'm sick of this. Both Ravanas wanted to come for me. They did not fight each other. The Leech didn't fight me. None, none of these guys were fighting each other. All of them were like, ah, look. It's a little Strider. How easily that thing can be killed. And they all come for you. And that's the next problem when you do free for all with non-meta stuff. Not only do you not win the one-on-ones because the enemy robots are more powerful, the chance of enemy fighting you, multiple enemies choosing to fight you and ignoring each other is also much bigger, right? So that's the next reason why you do, why you do so bad with no meta things in your hangar uh, when the enemy has them. Because they will simply ignore each other and go for you because you're the easy kill. Uh, in free fall, it's all about kills. And what I'm doing here, I don't know what this guy's problem is, seriously. Maybe he already knows who no really it's me is, but my gosh, uh, this guy is so ignoring the other dude and coming for me. And I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm not going to get, go in there and get myself in any danger for as long as I don't have to. And then I try to come in, quick switch over to him, not losing a lock on time, applying every little trick I know from uh, every, every trick. 
every trick in the book I try to bring here to win this. Uh, he thankfully has punishers, and those aren't the most powerful things. And he's probably reloading now, which is why he constantly tries to back off and walk away. And I know he had to reload, because he was fighting the other Ravana for, for like a minute or so. So I knew exactly when his reload was gonna happen. And so I pushed him just when he had that. He tried to get a kill, and that's why he used his flight ability. Enemy 6, never use your flight on the Aochun just to get a kill. This is your life insurance. This flight is not meant for you to get faster from A to B. This is what I see do people doing wrong so many times. A match beacon rush. A match starts. They spawn, fly up, and fly a couple of meters and land. What happens next? The Hydra Spectre is gonna have fun with you, right? Because you have no more any protection, unless you use phase shift or so, against it. That flight is not uh, is not there to get fast fast from A to B. That fast that flight is for you to save your skin or your armor in this case when you really need to get out of the thick of it. That's what it's there for. Okay, don't use it for traveling faster. That's not worth it. Because if he hadn't done that, I would not have been able to kill him that easily before. So yeah, I like to do this kind of an educational episode too. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you like it and uh, you want to see more such videos, you may, you may feel just like you learn something from them, or maybe you just find it entertaining that someone with a Kamiho and Strider beats the heck out of Blitzes and Ravanas. I don't know what it is that you could possibly enjoy here. Maybe it's my, my stupid face. I don't know. If any of that is the case, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, guys. I'd certainly appreciate it. At my stupid face would too. So I made this guy use his ability here. I'm walking away because I know I don't really want to fight him for as long as he's got his ability running. Um, instead, I'm just going to let them fight it out. Wait for them to abilities. Again, here, playing tricky. I know this guy. I can't kill this guy to the left. He's leeching. There's no point in shooting him, but I can't try and steal the other kill. So I dash in. Bam, bam. My kill. Now this guy loses his ability. Kill. What was that? That was two leeches. Every single one of those leeches is more powerful than my Kumiho, and yet I got both kills and I'm coming out of this with almost full health. Why? Because I waited for the right moment. I didn't come in, I didn't waste any potential HP I have. I do not take fights I can't win or I do not take fights where there is no potential win at the end. Except, of course, beacon rush or so. In beacon-based team modes, you have to throw in your HP. Even if you don't win the fight, you need to defend that beacon. You need to give your friend maybe the opportunity of battling him. Here we have a, a powerful Storm Ravana. You know what a Storm Ravana is, right? And he even didn't let me fool him with a dash, but now I get it. Boom! And he shoots two or three shots into the wall. And it's very hurting because the Storm only have two or three shots. So every time I, every time I time my uh, dash perfectly, he loses one of his important shots and the storm only fires five shots and then it's empty and reloads, right? So he's using invincibility, comes out of invincibility and he has exactly two shots that he can fire. Two shots that he has restored and I dash perfectly as he tries to apply them to me. Boom, boom, both shots wasted and I get my chance to do damage. Not only with my tiny bit Kamiho with very little HP was I able to kill him, I even lost very little health in the process. I didn't even lose my last stand for it. I didn't even have to use last stand to do that, right? So this was before the 6.2 update recorded where uh, the lock-on would be lost. Um, or maybe they have fixed it already. This is definitely a bug. I can't think, I can't imagine they want that to be that way. Um, if you know what I mean, but... So, I've got seven kills. I'm way, way ahead of the most people and that's why I'm not even going anymore with Strider or Komiho. I'm now spawning my fun robot. Right? My Spectre. It's it's a game. And what is a game supposed to do? Fun. That's the number one reason to play a game. And to me, fun is Vortex Spectre. Even if it's not very good in free for all necessarily and it probably loses most fight, it doesn't often get the kills that I need. And generally I can do much better with a Strider. That doesn't mean I have to run it. Right now, I am first. Let's see if they turn it around. And if they do, I still have the option to maybe ch ch turn it. But right now, I just want to hurt this guy. I want to hurt him really bad. <laughs> and I don't have my overdrive units yet, but maybe I'll have them in the future. For now, let's just go in and just brawl the heck out of these dudes. 
You and come on! Ah, I'm too late. Look, my car, my shots come in. <laughs> that would have been my kill if I had managed to get in range just a tiny little bit faster. If I had gotten in range just one second earlier, that would have been my kill. But unfortunately, that was not meant to be. Firing one for the lockdown and two for the fun. That is an Ao Ming up there. Not badly leveled, by the way, because it did take not the full amount of damage. It's a bit leveled. Not maxed, but it's a bit leveled. Uh, and uh, I like to hurt them. And let's see if I can steal at least this kill. Because that's something that the Vortex Spectre is not that bad at. Stealing kills. If you wait for the right moment, you do that much damage as a, such a massive chunk of HP. So I'm just gonna wait. 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 Wait for it, and fire, lockdown, fire, boom! There we go, my kill, yoo -hoo! Let's see if I can get another one here. It's, uh, I'm really, I've really become good at playing the Vortex Spectre, but there are so many things you can't do. For example, a Ravana. Forget it, you can't fight, you can't beat a Ravana with your Vortex Spectre. It's liter literally impossible. The only way to beat a Ravana with a Vortex Spectre is if he's AFK. <laughs> if he's not playing the game and standing around. That's when you have a chance, but you have to play good for it. But man, those Ravanas are basically impossible to destroy. Thankfully, this guy didn't see my rockets coming, because if he had seen those rockets coming, surely he would have activated his... Uh, Resistance and leech ability and here it is. He just used the first damage mode. I'm trying to hit him again and the second damage uh, in Invincibility mode. There's no damage dealing against Ravanas. No chance But since I'm still first well, I don't have to risk much um, Let's just try and do the best I can maybe I can kill steal that wait for it wait for it lockdown fire and boom Titan Slayer that's right that's still something I can do. The um, video is almost over. And wow, it's been a long one. 22 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a long video. Usually I try to aim at like 15 minutes. Uh, that, I feel like 15 minutes is a really good way uh, to make it happen. Oh, uh, this guy has a Ravana again. Using one shot to hopefully get him with the second. Boom. And it worked. At least I was able to fool him a little bit. It's the same enemy from before. I was able to fool him by sending one shot and then the other, but, um... Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Fool me once, fool me twice, right? Can't happen to twice. Uh, but you know what? I'm still first, so let's jump into the Vortex Spectre again. Somehow they're still not getting the second place kill, or uh, second uh, the first place. So as long as I'm that, you know, that well set up for having the second, uh, the first place, uh, although, wait, the match is going to end in six seconds. I don't think I'll get back in range. No, nope, 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 nope. The match is over. Okay. So, yeah, let's see uh, what we did here. If the enemy may have done more damage than we did. Because I had to play tricky again against all this meta stuff. And uh, no, we actually even did the highest amount of damage here. And having three, four kills more than the second place one. So that was a good match. These time, this time, though, let's be honest, the enemies weren't fully maxed, right? So this time I didn't have one of those ultra meta players where everything is marked to 12. But still, they are using the meta robots. And if I would be, would be playing their robots, I'd do better than the stuff that I use here, for sure. Um, but, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome. As always, Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a minute. Let's check out. Oh, he's on a different profile. I can't actually check him out. I wanted to see what his what he had, but uh, he was on iOS. Oops. Okay, well, you know what I have. I've shown it to you in the video already. So, until next time. Bye-bye.